Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Brett's Brain. Today we're going to talk about net revenue retention and why both entrepreneurs, leaders of companies, and investors should care about the metric. I'm Brett Brohl, an entrepreneur turned venture capitalist. Thanks for checking out these videos. If you enjoy them, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, share it out there. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. I'd love to get to them, make a video about them, and answer them for you. So net revenue retention. It's a metric. It's something that I'm hearing more and more in pitches. It's something that I'm seeing and working with a lot of our portfolio companies on nowadays. And that wasn't the case a couple of years ago. So what is it? Simply stated, net revenue retention is how the revenue of your existing clients changes over some defined period of time. That can be monthly, quarterly, or annually. Most commonly, I see net revenue retention as a year-over-year -year change metric. So for example, if you start on January 1st, 2022 with 10 clients and $100,000 in revenue, and you end uh, the end of January, so now we're January 1st, 2023, and of those same 10 clients, you have nine left, but you have $200,000 in annual revenue. So... I don't know exactly what happened as an investor or entrepreneur, but what I do know is even though we churned a client and we probably lost a little bit of revenue from a churn metric there, we were also able to get those other nine remaining clients to increase their revenue significantly. Your net revenue retention in this case would be 200%. We doubled. We 2X'd. You went from $100,000 in revenue to $200,000 in revenue. And when you say net revenue retention, it means that you're taking into account any money that was lost. So especially for enterprise SaaS companies or any companies where you have upsell opportunities, what it's telling me as an investor and what it should be telling you as an entrepreneur is how good is your organization at expanding? At that, you know, oftentimes we'll hear the land and expand. We're going to sell them something small and then we're going to grow our contract. Or we always hear like we have this big customer that we sell to. And it's a small contract today, but over the next couple of years, it's going to grow in 10x. Net revenue retention is a metric that tells us how good are you doing at that grow phase? It eliminates any new revenue, net new. So if you sold a new client, it takes that out of the equation because that's something else that we want to think about. How good are we at going out and selling and building new clients? Net revenue retention is a metric that measures how good are we at taking our existing clients, retaining them and expanding those existing contracts. Both things are really important, but you should break it out. If you're just looking at total sales or total sales growth, it doesn't give me as much information as I, if I look at, this is our net new clients and revenue growth, and this is our net revenue retention of our existing clients. It breaks it down one layer deeper, gives us a lot more information on our business, and hopefully as a founder, it gives you the ability to go make some changes, understand what you need to invest in and what kind of help you need from advisors, mentors, or new hires.